qu'on appelle euh, poissons migrateurs en fial, hein, des poissons qui We call diadromous migrating fish, euh, fishes, la, fishes la that mer, migrate between sweet water and the sea in euh, order to accomplish their vital cycle. These migrations must take place at predictable dates and at very specific stages in their life cycle, and also the migration must be performed by the greatest number of individuals in the population of migrating fishes. In Europe, we can find 28 species of two different types. The first type are species that reproduce in sweet water in the rivers, and the young fishes will grow in the river, then cross the estuary and finish growing in the uh, marine environment. And when they uh, come close to sexual maturity, they will cross the estuary again, go back to the river and reproduce. This is uh, what blueback herrings do, twait shad, uh, the Atlantic salmon, uh, sea trout, uh, and in France, uh, fishes like lamprey or smelts, a small species, or larger fishes such as sturgeons. Alors le, ces espèces, on les These species are called potamodrome, which means that they reproduce in the river. And there are 25 species in Europe. Le, le type, the second type of uh, migrating diadromous fishes, uh, and they do the reverse, these species reproduce in the sea. So uh, reproduction may take place near the uh, coast for the mullet or very f for the mullet or the uh, flounder, or very far away, such as the eel. The eel goes goes to the Sargasso Sea, sea close to the American coast to reproduce. The eggs hatch in the sea, the larvae will cross the estuary and they will go to the seawater where they will finish growing. When they near sexual maturity, they uh, migrate the uh, reverse way, they cross the estuary again and go back to the reproduction areas in the sea. But like the previous type, uh, they uh, reproduce in the sea and they are called thalassodrome. There are only three species in Europe. Now, these diversity in the life cycle, as you may have observed, also correspond to uh, a different type of habitat being used. So we have the lower part of the large estuaries or small estuaries, the average part of the rivers and the very small rivers or torrents uh, in the mountains. Different habitats are being uh, used by these species at a given stage of the life cycle. These species are very diverse, not only in their form, but also in their diet. Some of them feed on fishes, lampreys during the marine phase feed on fishes, salmons as soon as they are big enough, or eels. But others will feed on smaller individuals or plankton, such as the uh, blackback uh, herring, and others will feed on small algae, diatoms, which are eaten by the uh, lamprey larvae during their, the period they spend in sweet water to grow. There are large species, small species, they don't all reproduce at the same age. Small species reproduce at a younger age, such as the uh, smelt, they can uh, reproduce uh, when they're one year old and 20 centimeters long, but the European sturgeon must wait until it is 10 or 15 years old and reaches 1.5 meters in size before it reproduces. And the reproducing period also changes, sometimes in the winter for salmons, salmonids and uh, lampreys, or spring or summer for the uh, black back uh, herring or the European smelt. Uh, sturgeon. Some species can only reproduce once and then they will die like the lamprey or the eel. Others will reproduce several times uh, at regular, regular intervals, such as the uh, twait shad or the mullet. Now, these species uh, are very symbolic because obviously they are associated with the services simply because uh, they constitute food, not so much in Europe, but very much so in some areas, in some countries, in Bangladesh or African countries, where small uh, Twait chad or blueback uh, herring uh, feed the large part of the population. 
Caviar is, uh, comes from the surgeon, it is very famous, but the lamprey is also very famous in the Bordeaux area where it is cooked in a very specific way and smoked uh, salmon is uh, also very famous. These species can also be fished by amateur fishermen as a leisure. Salmon in Northern Europe, trout in Normandy, and more exotically, the small migrating uh, cod, which can be fished uh, in Quebec under the, the ice uh, in the winter. This is a very uh, famous sport. Some fishes are also uh, important for tourism. People travel to uh, visit the reproduction site and watch the animals come in large numbers. Everybody has seen pictures of uh, the red Pacific salmons uh, migrating in uh, shallow waters with the bears trying to catch them and people watch that. There are some windows organized uh, also in rivers so that people can see the fishes uh, traveling by one of the few times when it's possible possible to see them migrating. There are wet camps uh, also allowing to uh, witness uh, fish migration. Finally, these species are also very useful for traditions and symbols. Uh, sometimes some of those traditions date back to a very long time. Here we have the uh, coat of arms of uh, Côte and Co, a uh, town in Normandy uh, with the, the smelts uh, which have made the town both famous and rich. Also, we have uh, salmon town uh, in Canada, in uh, British Columbia, under a bridge. Some species are also associated with the idea of very clean water. Here we have a, an advertising by uh, the French transport company showing a migrating salmon jumping out of the water puddle. And the idea here is that uh, the water that was used to wash the buses uh, has been washed again and is so clean that a fish can swim in it. And there are traditions such as you can see on the left-hand side, the Brotherhood celebrating uh, migrating fishes. Finally, they uh, obviously play an essential role in the ecosystem. We have seen that there are different kinds of prey and predator, predating uh, species uh, can feed on those uh, fishes. Uh, the lamprey in the large American lakes feeds on smaller species uh, which are sought uh, by uh, fishermen and humans and uh, they try to get rid of the lamprey because the lamprey is considered as a pest. Some species uh, have different sizes depending on the vital cycle and they can be uh, uh, fed upon by birds uh, or whales. Uh, the eels, for instance, in the Saint Laurent River in Canada are eaten by uh, whales and seals have often been blamed for eating too many salmons on northern American coasts. And they are considered as the connection uh, between uh, species living in seawater and uh, marine water, salmons are the uh, often the only flow of matter flow of matter between seawater and marine water, and these species can also be considered as cornerstones uh, of the ecosystem because the whole ecosystem depends on them. This is true for a few rivers on the Pacific coast. Salmons, when they uh, go up the river, are caught by the uh, bears, and sometimes the bear loses the fish, and the fish will land on the bank will decompose and will feed uh, the plants. And this uh, encourages uh, the ecosystem uh, functioning.